From unknown kids to world famous teenagers, the Stranger Things gang has changed a lot over the last few years, so let's watch their exciting transformation together. Hi, I'm Zach, and you're watching OSA, so let's get started. Gaten Matarazzo Here's our future Dusty Bun singing in one of his very first public performances. At only seven years old, this little boy had the guts to perform with his older sister Sabrina in front of an entire stadium. At about the same time, Gaden also made his first steps on Broadway, singing and dancing in the hit Broadway revival of Godspell. Gaden was enjoying his job, but his real dream was to become part of the Les Miserables tour. Unfortunately, he was rejected for his dream role. And while Gaten is extremely charismatic and simply adorable, in the beginning of his career, auditions were a real challenge for him, mainly because people had a lot of prejudices about his genetic bone condition. While this is incredibly unfair, Gaten was never really phased by these countless rejections and just kept going to audition after audition. And at last, at 11 years old, his dream finally came true. I wasn't ready yet. I started from when, the beginning of the tour when I was seven, and I kept auditioning every audition that they had for a replacement until the last thing of tour. I'm like, let's just get the audition over with. I'm probably not going to get it. They don't ever cast me. When I'm like, cast me. I was like, wow, this is, this is great. After Gaten conquered Broadway, he decided to capture the hearts of TV viewers. So 12-year-old Matarazzo played a poor boy who's been brainwashed into becoming a suicide bomber in the crime drama The Blacklist. And within a year, Gaten finally became our sweet and nerdy Dustin. And oh boy did he change throughout those three seasons. During his first Stranger Things season, Gaten was only 12. In season two, Matarazzo changed a lot, starting from his new Steve Harrington recommended hairstyle and ending with his brand new shiny pearls. <laughs> And season three showed us a 16-year-old teenager who is a dream come true for smart girls like Susie. This year, while the whole world is waiting for the upcoming season of Stranger Things, Gaten is having fun starring in Green Day's new music video, Meet Me on the Roof. And what about the rest of the gang? Noah Schnapp. This is what our Stranger Things star looked like when he was seven. And within three years, he was celebrating his birthday on a movie set with Tom Hanks. Not bad for a 10-year-old, right? It happened during Noah's debut role in Steven Spielberg's drama, Bridge of Spies. So after working with those movie legends, Stranger Things didn't seem like that much of a big deal for the 12-year-old. And no one from the cast expected Stranger Things to become such a hit. Noah was sure it would be a weird one-season thing. Plus, he felt like his audition for the role wasn't good. I had like a horrible headache and it was raining and I was all wet and like my ankles were full of mud. And In and the audition? I, yeah. I got home and I was like, oh, I should have done better. That wasn't that good. And then I got a call back and then it ended up being my first TV show. Thankfully, it was. Even though we didn't see too much of Will in season one, the second season revealed how incredibly talented Noah is. When you're in a scene with him, like you look into his eyes and it's like he's a completely different person. He's not Noah, he's, he's Will Byers. Schnapp was happy to finally show what he is capable of while playing possessed Will. By the way, the Duffers wanted to turn Will into a murderer in the second season. Do you remember the scene in the car where Bob was giving Will some advice about life? Originally, Will was supposed to expose his possessed side right there and brutally kill poor Bob. Fortunately, the showrunners changed their minds. During season three, we see how desperately Will just wants to play Dungeons and Dragons with his friends again. Can we please play D&D now? No! But in the end, he finally accepts that things can't be the same as they were before. Without his silly but iconic hairstyle, Noah Schnapp actually looks much older. You can see it in Noah's occasional funny videos on his YouTube channel. And in his latest interviews, Noah has a totally different and deeper voice. The Demogorgon. It got me. See you tomorrow. It's like set in World War II, and I'm Jewish, so I kind of resonate with it too. So yeah. I mean, I was very drawn to the movie, and I was very excited about it. Sadie Sink. This ginger cutie started out her public performances on Broadway too. She was quite remarkable as the title character in Annie, and both her charisma and vocals earned her celebrity status right away. What's that? 
so producers were happy to get Sadie into TV projects as quickly as possible. And that's how, at 13 years old, Sadie became Suzanne Ballard on the tense television drama American Odyssey, and soon after, Mad Max on Stranger Things. From a badass tomboy in season two, she turned into a quirky girlfriend in season three. Is that a new zit? What is wrong with you? I was just asking! <laughs> Nowadays, 17-year-old Sadie dazzles her fans with beautiful photo shoots and amazing fashion runways. Caleb McLaughlin Just like his on-screen girlfriend, Caleb also earned his name on Broadway. He is best known for playing young Simba in the famous Lion King. Along with his acting skills, Caleb has always been a huge fan of dancing, and that passion has followed him throughout the years. Here, for example, he dances between the takes of Stranger Things. Just like his co-stars, Caleb also went through some drastic changes. From a rational and a bit grumpy Lucas in the first season, to the responsible and very, um, skilled boyfriend in season three. Max has dumped me five times, but what have I done? Huh? Have I despaired? No. I've marched back into battle, and I've won her back every single freaking time. Last year, Caleb turned 18. Can you believe it? He's changed so much that you can barely recognize it's the same person. Okay, okay. It's hard to believe that this man was once this little guy. Thank you so much for your love and support. And thank you to all my fans. Finn Wolfhard. This funny boy started his acting career in TV shows. The 100 and Supernatural were Finn's first ever acting experiences. His next role is the one most of us are probably familiar with, and it was in the movie adaptation of Stephen King's It. At the same time, Wolfhard was cast as one of the main leads on Stranger Things. Okay, um, well my name's Mike, short for Michael. Maybe we can call you L, short for 11. Just like Mike, Finn grew up pretty fast. So fast that for chapter two of It, they had to make him look younger with the help of CGI. And even though Finn changed a lot in season two of Stranger Things, his new look was even more surprising in season three, especially if you pay attention to his sudden five foot 10 height, making him the tallest one in the gang. These days, 17 year old Finn is trying on new looks for his seemingly never ending photo shoots for Saint Laurent and other famous brands. Millie Bobby Brown Millie captured the hearts of TV viewers since her first appearances in popular shows like Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, Intruders, and Modern Family. Right from her emotional audition tape, the Duffers realized they couldn't lose such a talent and gladly welcomed Millie to the Stranger Team. And even though in season one, Elle barely says a full sentence, her acting fascinated millions. Eleven. Eleven. No. Yes. Night Mike. No, no, bad, I understand. But sometimes Millie isn't that much of a shiny person on the set. For example, she loves to prank the Duffer brothers. One time she filled her mouth with water and started coughing, pretending she was very sick. And then I just was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he buy it? Mm -mm. No. Millie loves pranking people outside of the Stranger Things set as well. For instance, she pranked a Starbucks employee with her dad. Can I have a venti latte and a caramel frappuccino? Oh, please! Shut up, shut up. Did you get that? But sometimes she becomes the victims of pranks herself. During an interview, Millie was terrified when a black silhouette suddenly appeared. Just in time for the series to. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh my God. Millie! I am 47 Why years old. I'm in, in heart face. attack. Poor Noah. Millie literally screamed in his face. Anyway, they all ended up laughing and having a good time. But of course, Millie is a real professional, and she puts all jokes aside when it comes to serious work. While season three still shows Eleven as a typical 14-year-old girl, of course, not taking into account her supernatural powers, Millie has quickly turned into a stunning young lady in real life. We can clearly see how much she has changed in the latest photo shoots for her own company, Florence by Mills and from her Vanity Fair interview, or basically from any recent appearance on the red carpet. 
At 16, she's not only a world famous actress, a business lady, and a model, she is UNICEF's youngest goodwill ambassador. And that's truly inspiring. What else are you dying to know about the Stranger Things cast? Share with us in the comments and we might make a video about it. And as always, thanks for staying awesome.